curse has been broken. What a treat tonight, hockey fans, as two of the game's best collide. Burakovsky's one of those forwards up front that they'll need to provide some offense. They'll be leaning on him to be a catalyst to produce offensively tonight. It is an on-ice clash of the Titans next, right here on EA Sports. Opening face-off just moments away. The Checkers have won the draw, and we are now underway. Strong defensive effort. Passes on over to Burakovsky. Oh, a little Catburger-like play with the stick. Nicely done. Charlotte's got the puck along the wall. Feeds it over. Here's a short pass to Burakovsky. Handles the puck at the point. Oh, and a reactionary save on the one-timer. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Charlotte's got a hold of the puck. The Checkers have it now. Slides the puck over. Chicago's got possession at center. Here's the pass in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Great use of the stick here at center ice. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Lynn. Dishes it off. Charlotte's got it along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Todd. Oh, that's how you do it. She drops the hit check in. Oh, wow. Gritty's got it. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind and he's going to be the foundation tonight. Well, the emotion elevates after a save like that, James, and even on replay, it's happening again for me. I mean, that was absolutely unbelievable. Everyone's standing on their feet. They cannot believe that he made that save. More than half the period left to play. The game is still scoreless. And that's blocked. Slides into Dreisaitl. Keeps the puck over. Oh, and he keeps it out of the net as it goes off the glove. Stolarz has created some energy for his team, making a huge stop and taking away a critical scoring chance. Across the line from center. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Looks to pass it to Dreisaitl. Tried to get 2-2 with it and loses possession. Dreisaitl's trying to fight her way through traffic in the offensive zone and she loses the puck. Sends it down low. And now he moves it quickly to Todd. The Checkers have the puck in the corner. Gets his stick on it. The Checkers have it in the offensive end. Works it across to Hall. The Blackhawks move to the offensive zone. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Taken along the wall by Lynn. Oh, what a great club save on the play. Past the midway mark in this period. Still no score in this one. The Trekkers win the draw on their own end. And he slides it quickly to Gritty. And that's poked away by Lynn. Oh, and she tiptoes around the poke check and maintains possession. Picked off by Gritty. Handles the puck. Great stretch passes and connects. Feeds the puck over to Dreisaitl. Moves it to Hall. He got all of that hit. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. She scores! Well, this is such a quick release, and while she's moving in stride, I mean, it's on her stick and it's off her stick, and she beats the goaltender clean. 
Chicago's jumped ahead by one here in the back half of the opening period. That goal ahead goal should give them a real shot in the arm, a boost of energy, James, as they finally get rewarded for their shots to net. I love their puck pursuit. It has been outstanding in this game. If they can continue that and continue with the momentum, you got to feel and believe that they're going to get another one. Charlotte's got the puck against the boards. Big time shot block there. Hard hit frees up the puck. And there it is, stopped by Subban. That's a great save as he drops into the butterfly. You want to make sure that you take away the top of the net, but you know you got the lower net covered. And the agility to be able to move across the crease is an example right there. Charlotte's got possession here in the neutral zone. Chicago's got the puck. The checkers gain control of it. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. And that plays offside. We got a faceoff coming up. In the final moments of this period, Chicago's ahead 1-0. Nice job tying up his opponent. For point three. Point-blank range by Subban. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. is in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. That's it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. Puck picked up by Lynn. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Great pass from off the right side. Picked up along the boards by Burakovsky. The Blackhawks carry it along the wall. Charlotte's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. And it's in the net! That's a goal! They're gonna count that one! Charlotte's look way more engaged since the start of this period, Cheryl, and now they're starting to get some of the rewards. Well, you can certainly feel the energy. There's two trains of thought here. There's a physical side and there's the emotional side of the game. Both are connected for them right now. Quick pass to Hall. 
And that's knocked away by Khan. Burakovsky's got the puck. Sends it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Puck sent over to Hall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Rips it. Denies him on the one-timer. Receives the pass. From point blank. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And that's off a stick. He might have a step here. Extend the lead to two here in period number two. Well, and I've liked their complete game tonight, James, all the way from their goaltending right to their defense and then into their offense. They generated, they created, they played sound defensively, and now they've got that two-goal lead. Charlotte's got the puck against the half wall. Grabbed along the board by Todd. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. You'll need more than that to beat him. Great reach by Lynn. Grabs the puck. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Charlotte's looking to break out. Broken up by Lynn. With possession along the wall. Nice feed inside the offensive zone from the boards. Made the stop on the play. Great read with the stick. Passes it over. We got a penalty coming up here. Todd's got the puck along the blue line. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Busy's going off for two minutes here, boarding the call. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the cover. By Todd. Quick shot. Scores! A power play goal! The successful power play is all about getting the PK to move, and that's exactly what they've done with their motion and their switching of positions here, James. They got the look they wanted, and they finished it off. This power play goal is a result of the faceoff. I mean, winning possession right away, knowing exactly where that puck is going to go, reading the coverage perfectly for that goal. Charlotte's found some offense, and now they suddenly have made this game a lot more interesting here in the second. And they changed the momentum. You can see it in the body language and the confidence. They've got themselves within striking distance of an even game. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Directs it on over to Gritty. And the officials are going to say play on here. Well, that's some great speed to be able to catch up to the puck and keep that play alive. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Puck scooped up by Dreisaitl. Picked off. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Tiptoes around the poke check. Gritty's got it along the wing. Now a quick pass to Todd. Oh, she read the play perfectly and delivers the hip check. Wicked pass! Oh, what a hit did she ever deliver the hip check there? The checkers have been pressing, and they finally get rewarded for that goal. They get rewarded, and now they can't sit back. They have to continue to attack and look to go ahead. Burakovsky's one possession after that neutral zone draw. Charlotte's got the puck along the boards. Dumps it into the O-zone. Moves with the puck in the corner. And that puck leaves the zone. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Getting into the later stages of this period. It's all tied up. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Gritty's gonna play it against the half wall. Wicked slap shot! 
Too much congestion in front. And she shakes off the kick. Time ticking away, and he comes up big. And that brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm going to get more popcorn. We're coming back with much more next. on the play, face off coming up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Burakowski's won the draw here for her team. Great face off win by the center. Now they can get out of their zone and get a change. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Here they come on the rush. Get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. The setters will glide into the dot. Setters jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. All alone! Passes out front! He scores! What a goal! He's got those incredible puck handling skills, in particular when he's in tight spaces. He just knows how to move his opponent out of position. And he does it there, and he finds it back of the net. Chicago's gone up by one here in period number three. Uh, you know that they recognize that they've got the lead in the third period, so they have to be defensively responsible, but you can't just sit back and protect. you got to be aggressive when you get the moment and take advantage of it. The Blackhawks looking against the half wall. And he takes the pass. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Even though goaltenders get set in their butterfly positioning, they still have to be agile and be able to move across their crease. Right there, that's evidence of it, and with that beautiful save. And a puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Blackhawks have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. And now it's grabbed by Todd. From the boards, he takes that pass. Oh, what a save on the one-timer. He was scores. I got a fever, and it's the Reaper to the rescue. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front. Goaltender can't find it, and guess what? It's in the back of the cage. Charlotte's got some fight in them tonight. Here we go, all tied up in the third. Yeah, these games are great, James, especially when they go back and forth right into the third period. But finally, they're taking advantage of the puck possession that they've had and cashing in on some opportunities. The Checkers will play it against the boards. 
Moves it around along the half wall. And that's poked away. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Hall's been slashed. Penalty coming up. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The trickers are getting penalized for slashing. Here's a first look at the power play. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Hammers a shot. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. She gets all her weight behind that one. You can see her. Yeah! third period. Moves the puck from off the bank pass. Oh, what a save he made on the one-timer. Charlotte's got the puck in the defensive end. And now he angles it across to Gritty. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Scoops up the puck now. Great stick work with the steal. Charlotte's got control of it now from their own end. Sends it over to Gritty. Steps across the blue line. Oh, she timed that hip check perfectly. The checkers will play it in their own end. From the point, they take control of it. Oh, that goes off the bucket, and he keeps it out. Now you can just see the frustration, James, as he's shaking his head in his body language while it tells the story. He's in tight. He could not believe he didn't execute. And a huge save by the goaltender to turn him aside. Face off coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, they'll want to continue with the sustained pressure because the goaltender, he is fatigued. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Shuts him down. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Oh, just a textbook hit. And that's broken up. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Well, you knew exactly what she was trying to do there, James, with that deep. Unfortunately, sometimes simple works better as that puck just gets off her stick and she loses it. Taken by Dreisaitl. Quick feed to Todd. Hip check on the play, and you know her opponents will be thinking twice going up against her now. Huge steal at his own end. Approaching the final minute of regulation. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. There's the whistle, we get it offside. Charlotte's offense and struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. The checkers have it now. Charlotte's got it in their own zone. And the puck skips away after a nice defensive deflection. Scooped up along the wall by Todd. Great pressure with the stick. The checkers played along the boards. Slides it across. On the tip, just wide. Charlotte's been able to generate a ton of scoring chances tonight, just not capitalize with that missed shot. They need to hit the net. They need to find a way to execute if they want to get back in this one. Break away. She scores! Both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. And that'll do it for right side here. Well, they came, they showed up, and they conquered in this EASHL challenge. Well, when the challenge is on the line and the competition keeps going, you know, you want to find a way to win because you want the bragging rights.
brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from ringside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. I got to get to bed. See ya.